morning folks. Um, my uh, latest set of uh, palm trees have arrived. Ooh, all the way from China. So I'm thinking with my biblical buildings and to have a break from medievals, it's time to um, to make some little houses, just a few. Um, I use foam core. Um, so I think I'll uh, mark this out and cut it out and show you how I do it, if anyone's interested. Uh, yeah, various sizes. Uh, once the houses are cut out, I'll put them onto an MDF baseboard, drill a few holes to put the trees in, and uh, hopefully uh, to, uh, we'll have a reasonable looking finished product. So, back in a tick. Right, so what I've done now is, it's obviously uh, using foam core. You see, this is 5mm foam core. Cut it into various sections. Two longer ones, two shorts. So we'll have the front and these will be the sides. So, Arab buildings, I'm now gonna mark out doors, windows, and then I shall cut a nice wavy line to get in the regular finish along the top. So I'll get all that cut out now, marking out the doors, marking out the windows. So, back soon. Right, so what we've got now is buildings cut out, door, window, back, and the two sides. Same with this one, slightly different size. Although it's a new blade, I must say it didn't cut ever so well. You really need a sharp blade to cut this. And it's a bit more ragged than I would like. So obviously my brand new blade was a bit useless, but there we go, it's okay. Um, I go for a standard size, with, I'll put a figure next to, and give you an idea what the figure looks like in the doorway. Um, it's not important because these are for not for skirmish gaming, so you can actually make buildings a little bit smaller. I don't know if you guys know that, how it works. Skirmish gaming, you need one-to-one -one buildings. For uh, units, you tend to make them slightly smaller. Um, that's the laws that I was always taught. <laughs> All right, so I'll put those there. Um, yeah, I go for a standard size, which is 35mm for my door height. Uh, by 20 mil wide, that seems to be about the right size. Again, there's the figure standing in the doorway. I mean, he's running, but 20 mil wide seems about right, and 35 mil high seems about right. And then I do my windows, uh, same level as the door, and uh, 10 mil wide by 15 mil. That, that does me. That's fine. Um, I'm going to add a lintel there, and I might add, do I add, no I don't think I'll add a sill there, so it'll just be a lintel above the door. Um, right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark out some stonework where the, just something like that, that's all I'll do. And I'm going to cut away the top layer, um, and then you can see what I do next to reveal the brickwork, so back in a tick. So what I've done now is I've cut away the top layer of paper, which uh, is just like that. You can see a piece of paper cut away, marked out, cut away. I just cut around with a knife and then carefully slice in. You can see the layer. Just cut away the top layer of paper. Some foam core you can actually peel it away, but I this is a this one. I, I don't like this one particularly. The yellow ones are best with the yellow foam core, but I have no idea how you get that. It sort of appears on eBay sometimes, and other times it's this white stuff. This is a bit cheaper really, but, but it does the job. So, uh, yeah, that's cut out. Uh, I'm now gonna go around and mark out the bricks. Right, so what we've got there now is the brickwork is all marked out. I just use a basic ballpoint pen. I find that's perfect. Just um, do it by eye. It's one of those things you just get to know. And obviously it's the top, I've marked the top as well. Um, it's just uh, obviously offsetting the bricks. It makes little difference what shape you can make round, rocky looking bricks or square mud bricks. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, the more rugged it looks, the better. Right, so I'm gonna sort out, I'm gonna go round all the various walls doing little bits of chipping, not too much, but enough. Um, so I'll get all those sorted and then I'll come back to you. Right, there we go. Everything's all marked out. So ready to glue together. Obviously, should need PVA glue. I'll put that like that. And that like that. Oop, will it hold together? Possibly not. Okay, that'll give you an idea what you've got in the basic format. 
and obviously I need fitting out uh, but that's our basic house uh, this one's got a few bricks sorry uh, the door falling away from the brickwork around the doors and then just various bits around there we go that one and obviously that one's very similar so good old PVA got to use PVA because uh, any other glue will just burn its way through this paper and the styrofoam and make a, a syrupy mess so white PVA I'm using um, I'll glue this all together and come back to you Right, there we go, that's the two buildings stuck together. I say basic PVA, I'm obviously going to clean them up and sand them up and going to be covered in a paste. I now need to fit out inside, so what I tend to do is put a something just about the door height, a little bit higher, uh, to rest the roof on. So I'll cut that and cut the roof as well for both of those. Um, it'll give a shelf effect, but then stop the uh, stop the roof falling through and that's the figure again just to showing that we're on we're on target for where we want to be all right back's in right there we go two little buildings made um, I would normally put something like that uh, to lift off these building uh, roofs but what I'm going to do is put some uh, little hatches for figures to climb through in theory uh, that's the fitting out as you can see there's a little shelf there and a shelf there just higher than the door and the window obviously otherwise it'll stick below uh, but there it is can't be seen and there it is finished so I think the next thing now is to take these and cut uh, cut a base for them to go on before I can uh, start adding a filler and a paste and sanding up the edges and cleaning up etc etc so I'm going to go cut some wood <laughs> as they say I'll just get a couple of palm trees we've got some short and long palm trees yeah we have some palm trees like that I'm going to have a couple of palm trees around I think each one something something similar uh, right so I will get busy with the uh, baseboards um, get them all sorted out stuck on and uh, and I'll come back to you. Okay, there we go. One base. So that's the base, just basic MDF base. And I'm now going to glue these on. Again, using PVA. And then I shall start adding some paste um, around to my special mix of paste, which is uh, sand and glue and paint and blah 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 blah. So I'll stick these on. I think possibly then drill out the holes and get these palm trees stuck into position. Um, yeah, before I put the uh, the paste on. Right, I'll get on with that now. All right, palm trees sorted. Our buildings are glued on. Just taking a little mini drill, little mini drill, drilled some little holes, and then push the palm trees through. I'm um, going to super glue those on and as you'll see they stick through the bottom so once dry just snip those off and sand them up that's I'll put on that block of wood that's what I'm proposing it's going to look like something like that that'll be the the setup and there's the figure again to give you an idea on scale um, yeah right I'm happy enough with that so it's super glue and then I'll start adding the paste on the buildings and on the base um, I use the paste on the buildings on the base yeah that rhymes I use the same uh, paste for the earth for the ground as I do on the building so right I'll get stuck in with that and uh, come back to you okay there we go that's the basic sand coat has been added sand and paste and glue and all the rest um, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to put some coarser sand on here just to tidy up a bit. I always do that. And I'm going to add a few more little bushes. Um, these little bushes there, you can see those, scatter those around. Uh, once I put the sand, the coarse sand on, uh, then it's drying and then it's painting. Um, as you can see, uh, yet to make the doors obviously till it's painted. Um, I'll get those and some skyline hatches again uh, there's the trees look really posy well 
I think they look posy, so. Right, there we go, and I've snipped, obviously, snipped the bases off um, that protruded through. Um, and there we are with a figure, just to give you an idea of the scale. That's what it looks like, so no problems. Okay, I'll get on with the bases and the plants, and I'll be back soon. Right, there we go, just about finished. Uh, everything's all sanded and glued up, pasted up, and sand paint. Uh, stuck some little plants on there, so it's now the big dry brush up. Three or four shades of dry brushing to be added now. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's turned out too bad. It's my sort of thing that I like anyway. Um, uh, say so the doors and the roof hatches will be added later once all the dry brushing is finished. So, right, on with the dry brushing and then uh, back to you to see what I come up with. Right, there we go, finished. My building biblical set, whatever, can be used for anything from biblical up to modern day probably. Uh, just turn it round a bit. See that there? A uh, bit of area at the back to put things if wanted um, or not. It doesn't really matter, does it? Represents um, a small village. Oh, sorry, I'm locking the camera. Uh, represents a small village. Um, yeah, a couple of buildings. Again, scaled down uh, as I don't want them for skirmish, although the roof could be lifted off. As you can see there, roof lifts off. I've only just stuck that on so I won't do it. Will it come? No, we won't. And I think that one's going to be the same, yeah. And the doors are just pushed into place. I've not glued those in. So they're slightly ajar. So they could be glued in if you wanted to, but I'll just let them say I'm not using the buildings for skirmishing, so they'll just be a set piece. The area will identify the village, I think, in our games. And there's just a 28mm figure. It's a foundry figure, so, and it is running. It's not standing, but it gives you an idea of the scale of the size, oops, stand him up. Right, there we go. Um, yeah, enjoyable to do, just for a change from doing medievals. It's only taken me a couple of hours to do, it's not It's not a long job. Um, right, I'll take some stills, uh, put those at the end. But uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.